Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I wanted to demonstrate one way to make use of Geralt and Layla, because I know everyone has this character, but most people don't use her at all. So in this video, I'm going to talk about one way to make her actually useful for Guild Wars. Alright, so Geralt and Layla falls into the origins of Light and Strategic Masters factions. And this is what makes Geralt and Layla potentially useful. The way to build Geralt and Layla for this use is you're going to use her as a, I guess, half healer and damage dealer. So from Knight, you go into Herald, and then from Herald, you go into Royal Envoy, okay? So that you get access to Holy Word and Meditation. In terms of skills, those would be the ones to get. So you would have Move Again, Holy Word, and then Meditation to increase her intelligence. Now, I don't have quite enough materials to upgrade her to get Meditation, so I'm lacking that right now. And I, don't, and I can't purchase any materials either. So it is what it is. Um, but I'll just demonstrate her without the meditation. Because ultimately, meditation just increases her intelligence by 10%. So if you don't have it, it's not the end of the world. Uh, and yeah, so this would be basically my party. Uh, oh, one thing that's very important is that Geralt and Layla absolutely needs Gift of Eternal Life to be useful. Because what Gift of Eternal Life does, it, it gives, it allows your character, when attacking, to heal the friendly ally with the lowest hit points. So what that means is every time she does a regular attack, she'll heal. Every time she uses Holy Word, she'll heal twice. And then her talent will also do a minor heal. Because ranged attacks heals allies for 50% of the sum of Geralt and Layla's attack and in stat. And it also dispels one uh, debuff. So the higher the stats, attack and int is, the better, the more that thing heals. So just for that, I'm going to actually add Augment as the other skill, simply because I currently don't have Meditation. So, there we go. And I'm just going to begin the fight to demonstrate how to use her. So it makes Geralt and Layla basically a fairly effective half-healer. Alright, so here we go. Um, actually, a few more things I should mention before I start. Okay. First, I'm going to use a fairly weak party for this fight because I figure it's a, it's a decent demonstration of if you were going to solo battle with her. And second is that my equipment is not really upgraded, right? Gift of Eternal Life is only level 40, same with, with the True Cross. So it's not exactly max level equipment. In terms of soldiers, I'm just going to have my Geralt and Layla have sorceress because my sorceresses are actually leveled up pretty well. Whereas my Holy Knights are not. So you can see there's 454 attack here with an additional 36% attack boost. Holy Knights would have 351, so they don't hit very hard. So, Sorceress as the unit of choice. And finally, about my Geralt and Layla's Bonds, just to show that she's not very powerful right now. Level 55, Bonds are 2, 1, and 5. So, ve very low level Bonds overall. You know? And I'm not going to waste any further resources to upgrade this simply because I don't have any, very many of these gold or silver keys right now. So, in any case, let's begin. Now, I'll also mention that in this run, I don't expect to do a full clear at all. This is a level 62 fight, and so, yeah, I'll just see how far I can go with a solo attack. So here we go. So, I'm, it, because this is a strat strategist fight, my party will be a tank, of course, Ulti Muller in this case. I'll bring Leticia because of her love support and sprint, giving plus two movement. This actually really allows uh, Geralt and Layla to do some attack and retreat maneuvers. So it's a nice advantage. I'll bring Emmerich, and I'm going to bring Egbert and Imelda. So as I said, this is not one of my more powerful parties. I'm not bringing my top level characters like Leon, Vargas, and so on. I'm just doing this party to demonstrate, you know, if you had some characters left, you know, let's say a tank, Vargas, or Ultimuller left, you can solo a fight and actually do pretty well, using Geralt and Layla as your healer, and Imelda as your second healer. And I should also note, my Imelda only has mass heal. She doesn't have access to that other skill that just heals up your a her allies around her. So she is really a half healer, right? Every other turn she can cast mass heal. So it's almost like I have one mass heal, and then Geralt and Layla for Holy Word, for cons for my healing, and that's it. Okay, so that's everything I wanted to say. 
So my characters are positioned, ready to attack. And let's begin. I'm just trying to decide if I want Ulti Muller further back. Because Ulti Muller is just going to be defending. Right? But it is what it is. You know what? Let's leave it like this. So here we go. Alright, so the enemies have spawned. And this, because there's a cuttlefish here, right? I'm going to have to play defensive. So I'm just going to have to block off this cuttlefish strike, right? He'll probably move up and activate that attack on one of my healers. So, to that end, let's just form up defensively. And I don't want very many enemies to attack me. So I'll probably take just the vampire bats attack. Right? So let's line up here. That should be fine. Or I'll line up even further back, like this. Okay. So, just going to start lining up my characters. Forming a wall, and then... Getting them protected. So let's move back, move back. I'm going to have Ulti Muller activate faction buff. And Imelda moving back. And finally, I'm going to sprint. So that everyone has plus two movement. So there you go. That's my first turn. And as expected, the cuttlefish uses the tentacle strike. And Ulti Muller tanks the hit. So now... We need to do some healing, obviously. But also, more importantly, I need to wipe out the enemies. So let's get around to it. Let's start moving up my egg. Oh, I should also say, as I said, I'm u this fight, I'm actually using, as I said, low level characters. So Imelda's only level 49. Egbert's level 49. Leticia's 59. Gordon Layla is 55. Ulti Muller is 59. And Emmerich is 55. So I'm facing level 62s. So I have a level disadvantage. And although I did gear them up. So. So they do have my top sets of gear, right? Three melee character, one tank gear set, two melee characters, you know, and then two mages, and then one set for Gift of Eternal Life for Geralt and Leila. All right, so that's everything I wanted to mention as well. And now I'm going to go back into the fight. So let's start off with Leticia using Onrush. And I'm just positioning her in the guard range of Ulti Muller. So I'm going to move Egbert up now. I actually should have done Egbert first. But that's okay. And Egbert will now toss the AoE attack to weaken the group of enemies. Ulti Muller is going to probably strong arm right there. Let's have yeah. So let's have Ulti Muller move up and use strong arm. I'm going to use free strike to try to take down this vampire bat. And Emmerich to onrush to hit one of these flyers. Just moving it around. And now I'm going to have Geralt and Layla use Holy Word to hopefully kill off this vampire bat. And because of Gift of Eternal Life, right? Two heals, one mass heal, and then she and then I can move Geralt and Layla up to say just had my Ulti Muller. So the move again is actually quite useful.
All right, so second group of enemies has shown up. I'm going to have to finish quickly finish wiping out this first group, though. So... Well, let's have Emmerich kill off one. And then I'm going to be ready to engage the second group. So let's turn on the danger zone. Not that useful, but I want to stay out of the catapult's range. So the how Igbert is on needs to be evacuated. I'm actually going to move accordingly for that first. <laughs> and the reason is because I want Geld and Leila to attack, to do her healing. There we go. Ending turn, beside Ulti Muller. And again, I need, just need to move one tile over to avoid the uh, catapult. I'm going to just move Leticia down. And finally, Imelda will do the mass seal. Just to bring everyone up a bit. Muller will tank a bunch of hits. But you can see, you know, Geralt and Layla with Holy Word and the Gift of Eternal Life is actually working out as a pretty decent healer. Right? So. I can actually ignore all of these uh, cavalry units because Ultimate Muller would kill them anyways. Although I will wipe out this one since he has the ability to do so. But my priority is to kill off these two. So let's get to it. Send Emmerich down at the catapult. So, guard skill? Yeah, I should also mention, the strong arm is slightly different. It lasts, rather than two turns, it lasts three turns and has a cooldown of three. So it allows Ultimate Muller to actually do a few attacks after he activates strong arm. It's a very nice guard skill. That, you know, lasting one extra turn is just incredibly, incredibly useful. Slightly unfortunate part. Uh, Geralt and Layla is a bit too far to attack the Skeleton Master because it's actually five ta you know, I already have the plus one movement from Love Support from Leticia, but that's not enough to move the five tiles to attack this Skeleton. So Ultimate Muller will have to tank this Skeleton's attack. So, ac accordingly, I might as well do this. Let's have Geralt and Layla just do a regular range attack rather than Holy Word. Shift down to again Sage's hat, Ulti Muller. That freed up Imelda to attack. The skeleton knight. And then finally, let's have Igbert fireball the white wolf. So. Alright. With this, all the enemies are pretty much dead. So. Or they'll at least. They should suicide into Ulti Muller. First one falls, and second one, oh, so my ulti Muller just doesn't do very good damage, and it's actually because <laughs> his weapon is quite terrible, so, you know, he almost has more defense than, than he does attack, which just goes to show the issues of my ulti Muller. Alright, so, let's finish off the Skeleton Master. And I'm going to just use the Holy Word skill to again heal up my characters. First heal, AoE heal, 
and the second heal. Oh, and Alte Muller was actually cursed, wasn't he? He was. So, mistake in uh, I should have moved Alte Muller first, but ah uh, well. It's not the end of the world. So, let's shift my characters towards the north now. I'm pretty sure the next wave spawns up here. I don't really remember, unfortunately, but uh, I'm going to play on that assumption. So, moving everyone north. Muller activates the faction buff. And Leticia will sprint once more so that my party can zoom up. Ha! Yeah, so they did spawn in the north. Perfect. So, here we go. A bunch of enemies to kill. And the priority targets is probably these two. So, let's send Emmerich in with Onrush. Next, Imel, uh, next I'm actually going to send. Okay, Alte Muller has to faction. Uh, has to sorry, guard strong arm. So, well, let's send Imelda in first and see from there. Weaken the enemy. Let if this guy falls, Leticia could actually attack. This necromancer. But I don't have enough attacks to do so. So that's okay. Let's onrush down the holy general and see from here. Okay. And actually, that was a bit of a mistake because now old Gerald and Leila can't heal. Yep. I'm Alte Muller anymore. Oh well. <laughs> so... Let's fireball, I suppose. The vampire bat. So that's yep. nearly dead. And I am going to have to strong arm to guard everyone. And finally... Gerald and Layla will move up and activate Augment, since she has nothing else to do. Okay, so this was expected, that he would use AoE rather than a single target strike, and then this one will do a range attack, which doesn't really hurt. So, looks good. And I'm just going to have Imelda mass heal to start. I'm positioning her away from everyone else so that she doesn't, you know, apply her Iron Maiden or whatever it's called. Iron Hand effect on my other characters because I don't want to lose hit points. Gerald and Layla will move up and use Holy Word to trade ranged attacks with the Necromancer. Simply because she is holy class, right? So it just did some healing as well. And now I just have to kill off one target. So first melee attack from Leticia. And I'm just going to put Leticia here to love support. And second attack from Emmerich. So yeah, Leticia really, really has amazing synergy with Gerald and Layla. By boosting uh, Gerald and Layla's hit points, or sorry, boosting Gerald and Layla's movement, it allows Gerald and Layla to actually attack and retreat and so on, right? It's effectively, it's making Gerald and Layla have four movement permanently. So, it's a very nice benefit. So another wave spawns, mm -hmm. and this is turn eight. So the f I'm this is what I guess 
this is the second to last wave, right? Because after this is the turn 11 wave. Alright, so let's see. This guy will come charging forward at me. So that's really all I have to worry about, isn't it? So let's just move my characters down. Just group up. Right? And have Ultimate Muller tank a hit. I'm going to avoid a hit from the from uh, Tiamat because of Wind Whisper and Wind Pressure. So stay out of their range. Just tank the hit from the cavalry only for this turn. And actually, where I'm standing is fine, right? So in turn, move down, right? In turn, move in melted down. And she unfortunately can't mass seal. It's on cooldown. And then finally move Leticia down. And love support. So there's the one enemy that can attack me. The Hellhound. And unfortunately, the Lava Titan guards Tiamat. So, what I can do is use Imelda to toss a blizzard. So that disables the guard, which is what I needed. And Altai Muller his guard wears off and faction buff wears off, so he has no choice but to reactivate the faction buff. Hmm. Well, let's send Emmerich charging forward first. We'll go from here. Shift back. I'm going to... S yeah, I might as well make him apply cannot heal effect. Hmm. Uh -huh. Ultimately, I won't have any problems tanking this Hellhound hit. And what I'm worried about is really Tiamat. So let's try to focus him down. It's going to be a bit of a gamble, but here we go. Oh no, Leticia can't attack it. Alright. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move... I'm going to have Ultimuller activate uh, Guard right here. So I can have Egbert move over and use an AoE strike to start. And I might as well just do the Silence skill, Desiccate. Hopefully it'll silence... Uh... It did. I was hoping for the silence on Tiamat and it did. So that helps. So next, I am going to move Ultimuller up. And just tactical mastery. Faction buff. Leticia is going to move in and activate Onrush. And retreat back. And then finally, Holy Word from Gelden Layla will heal up Leticia. And everyone else. And then I can move. Gerald and Layla up a single tile to apply Sage's hat on my ulti Muller. So, it just works out very well with the attack and retreat. Mm -hmm. 
All right. And so, again, it's time for Imelda to play a healer role. So bring everyone back to health. And Emmerich is going to finish off Tiamat. And I'll just leave him where he is. Turn 10, so I might as well reactivate strong arm with Ultimolar. <laughs> I'm going to need to finish these guys off this turn if possible. Because turn 11, as I was saying before, is the turn that the next wave spawns. So... There we go. And again, you know, Imelda's Blizzard definitely helped in knocking this Lava Titan out of the fight. So now, Gerald and Layla, range attack, just does a bit of healing for my other characters. So yeah, they fall, because he's going to attack and suicide himself into Ultimolar. And the final wave spawns. And this wave is a nightmare. Oh, jeez. These enemy Leticias have sprint. So it means they get plus two movement, right? So five, six, seven, it's actually ridiculously far. I don't think I can escape. So I'm going to have to push in aggressively. So here we go. Sprint to start. And the assault. So let's move in. And unfortunately, the other unfortunate thing is I had already used my AoE silence skill, so I don't have access to it. Hmm. Alright, let's start off by t trying to take down Bozo. And guess I'll do this. And finally, holy word. Okay, that really didn't work, so I'm probably going to lose. But nonetheless, you know, despite that, this worked out pretty well, right? I got four of the five waves using what is honestly a quite a mediocre party. The reason it didn't work out was because my characters aren't powerful enough to one-shot or two-shot these guys. So, if they were slightly stronger, had slightly more damage, I had this one. Because what would have happened is Bozal and Lance would have both fallen, then I only had to deal with Freya and two cavalry units, which Ultimolar could easily handle. So it was a loss due to lack of power of my other characters. Yeah, I mean, even Leticia couldn't even it couldn't even hurt Lance, right? So It is what it is. There we go. At least I got another kill. I guess I could try to run away. I don't know if it'll work though, but we'll see. Yeah, so it's over. But again, if Lance and uh, Bozo had fallen, this was a pretty much guaranteed clear. 
losing all my other characters to the two AoE strikes lost me this fight. There we go. So with this, you know, still get a pretty good clear, 770 points, right? And that was worth 4%, so it's a solid effort. So yeah, once again, you know, it and all in, sorry, and honestly, the reason I couldn't clear it, as I said, was because I was lacking damage. And if you look at a lot of the characters that I used in this fight, their bond levels are just too low, and that's why, right? Level so you know I'm missing seven percent stats here, a lot of some attack stats here. Yeah. Same so it's just it was really linked to the heroes I used, not having enough damage. But despite that, again, I was able to clear four waves and I was almost able to kill the fifth wave. Alright, so that's it for this video. And I think this just shows how useful Geralt and Layla could be in Guild Wars, just with Holy Word. Because, now, I will also say, the main reason she was so good as well was because of the combo with Leticia. If you don't have Leticia to boost Geralt and Layla's movement so that Geralt and Layla can basically attack every single turn, um, then effectively she can't do any healing, because in order for her to heal she has to attack via Gift of Eternal Life, and via the Holy Word skill, and via her talent, Moonlit Oath. Alright, so I hope you found this information useful. And on that note, Nitro out.